Good morning, everyone. We have a visitor already. He's been a little bit naughty today, so he may be uh, he may be in the video a lot. He may be antagonizing the wall because you know he's a cat. Uh, but good morning, everyone. Today's question of the day is: If you could be any animal, or no, be an animal for a day, what would you be? Close that. All right. So Durbin, good morning. Says a big cat, jaguar, lion, etc., or a dragon. Yeah, I didn't say. Whether, I mean, who knows? Maybe dragons do exist. We just don't know where. <laughs> good morning, Don. Good morning, Sherry. Good morning, Kara. Linda, good morning. Alex, good morning. Callie, good morning. Natalie, good morning. Natalie, I was, um, if you guys, actually, I'll pop it over here. Okay, so you can't move the mic out of the way. Okay, you see this stuff here? So I have a bunch of boxes that's in the closet, but I still have it. And I've saved pretty much anything that's ever been sent to me, whether it was a card or a letter, or whatever. I have it all and I have it tucked away in a box. Well, I stumbled across the box yesterday. I'm like, okay, cool. I want to put them up. And Natalie, you know what I realized? And I think, I don't know if it was before, like, I don't know. Cause like, I'm very well aware of you and your name now. Like I noticed when you're here, but the Bob Ross puzzle stuff, that was you. Cause I found your letter. I was like, oh, that was Natalie. Okay. Anyway, but that was my realization I had yesterday. I was just like, the Bob Ross was her. <laughs> Anyway, all right, so let's see. Uh, we have Kim. Hello. Oh, wait, it hopped down and hopped down. Where'd it go? Uh, let's see. Kim, Kara, probably a chicken. <laughs> Kara, why would you be a chicken? Yes, yes, I hope you are improving. Uh, improving well, Ev. Question of the day be a bird. I like it, Callie. Yeah, let's see. Ev, good morning. Make sure I didn't miss anyone up there. All right, let's see. Britt, so I'll take a kitty. Sleeping sounds lovely and being up at night. Definitely how I fly. Right? I know, like a, a house cat. That would definitely be a nice way, a nice way to go. Let's see. Cece, good morning. Let's see. Just got home from the doctor. has been feeling really good. The first time I've driven since pre-surgery. Oh, that's awesome, Ev. I'm so glad. Also, I have the window cracked uh, for the cats, but there is construction out there. So if it gets too loud or you can hear it, uh, let me know. I may end up closing it because it's too cold because it dropped down to like 60. We had a storm that rolled through last night and it was cold. Uh, let's see. Oh, Kenny, I like that eagle. Yeah, I would, I would definitely choose something that can fly but like top of the food chain. Absolutely. See, Josephine, good morning. Some kind of sea creature. Ooh, yeah, I'd want to be one that like can go deep, deep down into the sea where we like, oh, what's that shark that like, is it the Greenland shark that lives for hundreds of years, but it's like really deep sea? Okay, that'd be cool. <laughs> yeah, it's Paul, Mona, good morning. Let's see. Oh, oh, oh. Whenever, like, for whatever reason, like, chat will hop down and then I got to find where I'm at. A cat, of course. I know, right? <laughs> Let's see. No, you're good, Kara. Kitty because, oh, because you love chicken. That works. A kitty because my husband treats her like a princess. Right. Absolutely. Sir Paul, so I can check out your studio. I mean, you know, there's, there's 
this is the extent of it. I've got like a rug and a cat tower and a bookshelf on the other side, but there's really not much to see over there. <laughs> uh, let's see, low 20s and 30s. Oh my gosh, yeah, super cold. Well, super cold for this time of the year, I suppose, but I don't know, some people will be getting random snow. Sounds good, Dawn. Okay, I think, I think I'm all caught up. Um, I don't really have a ton of announcements. It's been a busy last couple of days. I still need to stitch on um, Renee's a little charm there, but there's a reason I gave myself one to two weeks to do it because it is busy. We had some company over last night, so I was doing uh, lots of cleaning and cooking and everything. Oh, a Pegasus, Deborah, I like that. Oh, apparently we're doing bath time uh, on the desk here. Well, last stream, we did a quick flip through of pages that I have finished in this one. How was the eclipse? Cloudy? Was cloudy we we got to see little peaks of it and it did get really dark somebody posted a video from dallas texas and it was like pitch black nighttime it got to be about as dark as like eight o'clock at night gets does it'll see better yes finally he has a little bit of a lingering cough but that's pretty normal for him uh his fever finally stopped on what was it well he was able to go to school um on tuesday but he still yeah, I think by Saturday his fever finally subsided. But yeah, it was not. Well, Paul, don't don't put that in the in the camera. No one wants to see that. She had snow 18 inches. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that's insane. Yeah, we had a pretty um big storm that rolled through, but I think I slept through most of it. I went to bed early last night. I was really tired. Um, but yeah, so after what's today, Wednesday. So after Friday's stream, we had done a quick flip through of finished pages, and then somebody left a comment on the video asking if I could do the big, I am just doing my books, sir. There is no need to nibble on me. I was here first. <laughs> it's like fighting heavy. Anyway, and then someone commented, good morning, Marcy. Um, someone commented, hey, could you do this other page with the same pencil? When I was like, sure. Um, although you will be happy to know I'm still playing. First of all, here's all my Durant. Yes, they're in a cup, but I just took them out of the cases because there's not as many of them. I'm telling you they ever make a larger set of these i will like sell the car no i'm kidding <laughs> i'm kidding but they really should make more of these um anyway so i set those aside but i do have i do have i have i have separated all the pencils that need to be put away into their own collections here so i'm still planning on streaming uh friday the 13th i haven't oh I just realized it's a Friday the 13th. I'm gonna end up dropping pencils, aren't I? Or something's gonna get broken or something. Like I'm not, obviously without sharing too much of my history, uh, Friday the 13th are notoriously not good for me. Like I'm not really superstitious. I mean, I'll chuck salt over my shoulder. Just realize it's Friday. Oh, Saturday. Oh, thank goodness. Friday's the 12th. Why did I say Friday? I streamed Friday. Almost. Anyway, okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. <laughs> I tell you guys, it's been a long week. Anyway, uh, Saturday the 13th, I'm gonna stream, I'm gonna, where, where's my, oh. I'll wear my birthday party hat. <laughs> it'll be my birthday stream. And we'll put away a bunch of pencils. Um, but anyway, I did, uh, I did um, separate them into their own pencil types. <laughs> Uh, Shannon, then you're probably gonna have to be here a lot. My, my head notoriously needs brain help. Oh, nice, Trey. Happy early birthday. <laughs> see, this is why, I, see, Steve's not here right now. He's at work, which is why I need you guys to keep my brain in check because like, I'm, I'm a mess. I'm telling you, I have been so disappointed with myself lately. Um, in the last couple of months, whenever I've been using my hot glue gun, I haven't unplugged it when I was done. I keep my, my glue gun like in a safe place. Like it's always, you know, it's not like laying on its side on the carpet or whatever, but I have gotten very angry at myself because I can't seem to remember. So wherever it is, oh, I put, um, it's right here because I did it again the other day. So I actually took some of the stickles because they're really bright and I put them on top of here so that when I see this, it will, it's like tying a string to your finger. When I see it, it will remind me to unplug the dang hot glue gun. I can't be trusted. Oh, how many types of color pencils were there? Uh, let me see. There was one, two, three, four, five, six, including the drawing, seven, 
8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, I think. Sounds good, Kim. Thank you for being here. Wait, my ads? I shouldn't have ads on. I turned those off. Hang on. Does it auto? Does it auto set? Like, I thought I clicked it off. It didn't even give me the option this time. I'm so sorry. That is supposed to be off. Like, I specifically turned that off. I'm sorry. I am. Yes, it's very exciting. Thank you. had two so far. Oh, my gosh, you guys. I'm so sorry. That was supposed to go off. I could have, like, I click it off. Maybe I forgot to click it off. I don't know. Hang on, let me make sure. I don't need anybody's ear holes getting blown here. Yeah, I do not want to let YouTube insert. Let's see, schedule, no, insert. Okay. Okay, we're good. You shouldn't have them anymore. Yeah, because I always collect off. I mean, I scheduled this one the other day, so maybe I forgot. But no, no, no. Like, yeah, because I can't, my sound adjustment, like, I fiddled with it so much. Sound is probably the biggest headache that I've had ever, like, that, of streaming. But that they took away any... Cho yeah, so I can go in and man... Usually it was like a prompt that popped up where you could say, choose to insert ads here. So usually then when you hit, um, like, 50, 50 people in chat, it'll say, hey, now's a good time to insert an ad. But I never do. And I'm realizing now that thing didn't pop up. So I'm sorry. I just clicked dismiss. I know, but I hate that jump scare. Like... I don't know. Anyway, they're off now. If anybody gets any more, let me know because I'll figure out what's wrong with that. It was not on purpose, I swear. I know, right, Marilyn? Oh my gosh. Yeah. I mean, it was nice, but it was really interesting. Um, hi, Kara. Like to be a cat, right? Let's see, not for, oh, that little thing is blocking it. What does it say? Not for ads. I just click dismiss. Yeah, and I usually do too, but maybe I just, because I scheduled this a few days ago, so maybe I just missed it somehow. Either way, it's off now, so I apologize for that. It's been asked and answered, but what's going on? I switch between my phone and computer, and I am getting nothing but still a pick. You're not getting any sound? I don't know. Yeah, that was probably it. I probably wasn't paying attention when I clicked it since I set it up, like, earlier. Hi, Sheila. Hi, Kara. I found a set of Barrel Prismacolors at the second hand shop. And they're like, <gasps> you have the Barrel ones? Yeah, because that's, um, if it says Barrel on it, grab, grab my box with the uh, Prismacolors that needs to be put away here. Um, so you can tell, sorry, I get my thing. You can tell if it's an older one by, let's see. Okay, that one's a Sanford. I'm pretty sure... Well, basically, Barrel is um, very much the older one. So if you find ones that say Barrel, I thought I had a steel in here, which I know does say Barrel on it. But yeah, that's how they used to make them. Anyway, this is the this is the Prismacolor box. <laughs> but uh, yeah, Barrels are good. I know, right? It's been insane. Well, and he just, it just held on for ages and ages. And I'm just so glad that he's feeling better. So back at school, get back to rebooted YouTube in my five. Okay, cool. Yeah, Barrel's old. Barrel is good. Hi, Elise. Would have been so, man, I'm waking him up for school and there's, <laughs> oh no. Oh, Raceable Crayola. Nice. Give me a set of Sanford and Barrel. Oh, really? Oh my gosh, Yana. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. Well, let's get started with color. And I know Paul's kind of laying on it, but we'll make it work. Um, so we're going to be using the Derwent drawing pencils today. We're going to be doing kind of the same color scheme. But I mean, it will naturally be it because we're using a small set of pencils. Um, so I haven't thought I was going to brainstorm the water. But what I might do is like do a slight water design like behind it, not over the top of it. We could also do like a bluish glow on it, but like on the items itself, you just know that we're getting ready to do things, don't you? Is anyone ordering the book Claire just reviewed Spiral Light? The publisher doesn't ship to the U.S. and shipping on Cool Craft Book. Yeah, I got my Anna Green, Gable, Anna Green Gables coloring book from uh, Cool Craft, but probably not. I am. I did pre-order that other book for the... Ugh, drawing a blank on it now that uh illustrator that she like did a petition and they reprinted it 
I could. Yeah. Well, for this one specifically, I had someone comment on last week's video and asked if I could do a color along with the Durant drawing with this one. So I said yes, because I like the idea. I don't normally be like somebody's like, do this or do that. And I'm like, well, I'll do what I what I feel like doing. But I like that idea. So no, not Maria Toll. Oh, it's another one. I'll have to share the link for it later. But yes, it's been all over the place. It's been gorgeous. Absolutely. It might actually be because I started doing watercolor on. Um, well, I guess I have color on that one. I could always do it over top of that one because I did some watercolor there. But yes. Yes, Shannon. If that's me, you didn't spell my name right. <laughs> yeah, the galaxy with the white lights. Who was it who initially did it? Was it was it Arena who initially did it? Oh, no, the art. <laughs> illustrator the illustrator is emily oh my god i'm telling you guys my brain i'm sorry shannon my brain is like not moving at the pace that adult brain should adult <laughs> Whew. all right so good morning d all right well let's go ahead and get started color and like i said so this is i don't know what would you call this the fish and building page it is obviously small victories we're gonna be using the Durant drawing pencils. I need to like, that's what we need a petition for. A petition for uh, Durant to put out more of these pencils. I'm actually gonna go ahead and lay them out so I can see their colors at the end. Do you like the window, Paul? Is that what's going on? Is that why you're chilling here? Yeah. <laughs> Reach out to the artist directly as she has her own Etsy store, but she's not responded. I wanted to get it directly from her rather than a middleman. Yeah, I, yeah, I got that one. That's. Thank you. You made me realize that I left one in there. Thank you, sir. Yeah, if I if you can like getting them directly from the artist is always good. It's just a cup, but it's an empty cup now. All right, let's see how much we can zoom in without him blocking it. Because I think I think perfect. Yes. So that's the name of the illustrator. Um, and I went ahead and <laughs> yeah, he's pretty cute. He's pretty cute. He's just let's see. Can you see him on the? Uh... Can see his head. Hey, <laughs> his face, <laughs> or some such. Yeah, right. Exactly. So helpful. So helpful. Look at his little paw. Little, little paw. Boop. He actually doesn't mind too much when I touch his feet, as long as I don't over touch his feet. Okay. So yeah, he's a pretty kitty, and he knows. All right, so I want to be careful with how much of the smoke blue that I use. I may need to order another set of this, these pencils just to get, I don't know, does anybody, I could drive it to Austin and go to Jerry's Artorama. Give me a chance to go there. Do we know if the Durant drawing or sold open stock generally? <laughs> I can see his earwax. Oh no, Paul, do you have earwax? He's got speckles in his ear that's part of his pattern, but... Ine, welcome. How are you doing? Yes, he does. Question day, golden retriever. Angela, I love it. Uh, that's what I'm not sure, D. How are you, Angela? Fairy tales and folklore. That's what it is. Yeah, so I pre-ordered that one. They are open stock. Ooh, they're sold open in stock at Blix. I got a couple. I wish we had a Blix right But we do have a Jerry's Art Rama. So I might, I mean, I'm not going to go up there and like drop a little bit, but you know, a couple extras of these would be really good. Blit carries them. Yeah, I might give him a call. All right, so then let's plan. I do really like this blue for our light blue for the water. Yeah, I might just call them, call, like that store specifically to see if they have it. Because even if they have it online, um, it, they might not have it in stores. So what else do we have? This is Solway blue, which is nice and light. Could be an option. And then of course we have an ink blue. Um, I do really like this red. So what color scheme? Oh, you know, it might be pretty kind of greenish roofs with a with a red kind of building. <laughs> Perfect, Renee. Yeah. <laughs> pretty good. That's how I spend most of my days. Jerry's Online does have open stock of the Derwent Live. Well, these are the um, Derwent drawing. Do they have the Derwent drawing? Okay, so let's do that. Let's do green roof, red building, but let's go ahead and use the Solway blue to kind of create a little bit. 
Ooh, we could do a kind of watery. Do you guys remember, and it's on my Instagram, do you remember that um, Christine Karen image that I did? Um, I didn't do it on stream. I colored it and posted it on Instagram, but it was an underwater one. And I did these kind of reflection lines. We could do something like that. And if it doesn't work, it could just look like it has a cool kind of texture pattern roof. I think I kind of want to do it. Let's make sure that we are in focus completely here. Okay, we're good. Um, let's sharpen this just a little bit. I'm super excited because we should be wrapping up the rest of the stuff for the charity stream um, because the ladies, obviously not the end of this week, but by hopefully the 15th or 16th, at the very latest, at the end of next week, the ladies should have everything. So I'm really looking forward to sharing that with you guys. Okay, so let's actually, because we'll need to put the pattern on the flowers too. You heading out? All right, thanks for hanging out, bud. <laughs> you can throw the cup, wait, why throw the cup? Oh, Shannon, I've been meaning to message you and obviously you don't have to answer uh, here on live if you don't want to, but I was curious, how are you feeling? Has the, uh, has the vitamin D uh, intake helped at all? Do they have seaweed green for plants? greens that we have for this one so we have olive earth definitely a lighter one crag green what is this one this one is green shadow they're all very muted tones absolutely yes yes he did <laughs> no throwing the cup <laughs> jerry's online does not have open stock derwent light fest so i would call before you drink yeah hi lizard welcome uh pale cedar uh, what's this one? That's warm gray. I think that's about it for like the actual green greens. Okay. Ooh, Megan, you're getting close. Oh gosh, girly, you cannot catch a break. I hope Brian's pampering you. Okay. So we're going to start with the house because I think we'll do the kind of cool water reflections on the fish as well, but we are going to, we're going to start here. So Oh wait, thirty-five twenty, Megan. You have enough to get the uh, the vi hey, uh, Brooke. <laughs> Brooke, you doing good, or did you momentarily get taken over by a household pet? <laughs> Attacked your keyboard. <laughs> bug, bug, uh, gushing, uh, gug, gug, bug, gug, 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 uh, it all. <laughs> Oh, he's sick too. Oh, bronchitis. Oh my goodness, Shannon. We need like so. <laughs> we need someone over there to take care of you guys. We gotta, we gotta get your, get your puppy dogs to like learn how to walk on their hind legs and get you snacks. Oh, rest up. <laughs> we gotta hug, go, 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 go. Who's that character that laughs like that? I'm trying to think now. Oh, it's gonna come to me later. I'm actually gonna go and shut the window now because it's making my feet cold. Okay, we're good. It's cold outside. That's <laughs> definitely getting cat speak, right? <laughs> <sighs> right, Callie? Yeah, I love it. All right, so we are going to start with Solway Blue. <laughs> thumbs, right? Oh, gosh. Okay, so Solway Blue. Can we see? For yes, we can see it well enough. So we are just going to start. Do I want to use that? Mm, yeah, yeah, we'll start with that. So it is light, but we're going to be making it darker elsewhere. So I'm not following any particular pattern, but it will go all over the entire house. <gasps> oh, yeah, butterflies. I think that's, yeah, I think that's what it is. Jerry's only has three of the Derwent drawing pencils open stock, ink blue, light sienna all over it. Boo. Hi, colorful. Welcome. I still should find an excuse to go to Jerry's Artorama though. I don't know. The full sets of the Durant drawing aren't too much. In fact, I have a um, some stories that I'm going to post because I have a lot of people that like will ask about, you know, budget sets and whatever else. So I compiled a list that I'm going to post on stories of a lot of pencils that I like to use and um, their cost and then their cost per pencil was actually really interesting. Where did I, what did I put it out as? Because a lot of times... Um, I don't break it down to like cost per pencil. Oh no. Oh, Durbin. I hope you're feeling better. Hi, B. Yana, how has the cleanup been with the tornado near your house? 
so let's see. Let me pull up the email that because I put it all in an email and then sent it to myself. Um, let's see. So for the Derwent, the Derwent drawing, they come out to about two twenty-five per pencil because it's fifty-four for twenty-four. And actually, the Derwent drawing is in the list that I compiled. Um, actually, here I wonder if I can just share this in chat and you guys can look at it. Probably going to be too much. Maybe I'll do half first. Okay, I'm going to put this here. Is that too long? Oh yeah, it's too long. Man, that would take too long to put all in there. There you are. I think you guys will find this kind of price breakdown interesting. So here, I'm gonna I'm gonna put it in here real quick, so you guys can see it. Okay, there. Whoa. Okay, bear with, bear with. It's really huge. I'm gonna make it smaller. This is the behind the scenes editing. So I'm planning on. Oh, hey, Annie. Coming to check out. Um, I'm planning on making a um, Annie. Actually, your fur color is perfect for this white lettering. I'm planning on making a story post for all of this. It looks crazy right now because I have the um, the links added with it. Okay, so this is. Hang on, Annie. You sniffing the mic, kitty? Okay. Is that not gonna let me? Maybe. Dang it, it's not showing it. I just wanted to share it with you guys. All right, but I'm gonna turn that off because that's just chaos. But it's interesting because, so the Derwent Light Fast break down to about 250 per pencil and the Derwent Drawing break down to 225 per pencil. So if we were to see like 120 set, the price would probably be comparable to the Light Fast because it is for the Light Fast, or for, yeah, for the Light Fast on Amazon right now, uh, it is, it is 250 for the full set uh, of 100. But then if you break it down to other ones, so it's in the Brew Funer, which are really good. Uh, those are $28 for 120, and that breaks down to 23 cents per pencil, while the Crayola breaks down to only 21 cents per pencil. So the, the Brew Funer are actually comparable in price to the Crayola, which is interesting. Oh, post it to Discord. That is a good idea. That is a really good idea because <laughs> it's like, I want, I want to share the info, but it was not working to post uh, to post in chat. Okay, so I'm going to go to mine real quick. We're going to go to, uh, let's put it in, no, not deals themselves. I'm just going to put it in general. Okay, per stream. There we go. Okay, if you want to see it, I put the break, I put the breakdown in, uh, in, in Discord. But um, anyway, it was just really interesting to, oh gosh, it threw up all the links. It was really interesting to break it down to how much per pencil uh, each of them ended up being. Because like you see the prices as a whole, and especially when you have a, um, where do I, oh, there it is. When you have smaller sets where they're only like 50 bucks, you think like, oh, okay, that's gotta be really good. When in reality, per pencil, it breaks down to be about the same. Yeah, I just couldn't, it was cutting off part of it and I couldn't readjust it for whatever reason. Areas that were hit are still working on cleanup. Yeah. Oh, good, Durbin. I'm so glad. The, yes, they definitely are. I would say they are comparable in size to um, the uh, uh, Karen Dash. But like, for instance, this is an Artix, which is not a thin, like kind of light pencil. It's a pretty solid pencil. You can see it's a little bit bigger than it. Uh, let's see, in comparison to a Prismacolor. Hey, what are you doing? So this is the width of a Prismacolor. So Artix are a little bit larger than the Prismacolor. And then of course the Derwent drawing is, is much thicker. Either way, it's fabulous. Absolutely love it. Are dealing with the rain. Oh, I didn't even think about that. Oh my gosh. Yeah, we had quite a bit of a storm uh, roll through. Uh, like I said, we had company last night and Steve had um, some of his you know, friends over and everything made dinner. But like around 10 or 9.30 or something. Oh wait, that's supposed to be air, isn't it? Um, I came downstairs because I was just like, mm, there's like they were because they were reporting um, like hail and everything uh, here. Like it was supposed to be almost like golf ball size hail or whatever. I don't know if it came through. We parked the car in the garage, so I wasn't too worried. Hey, hey, what's going on? Let's see. 
Decimals are required for the Pablo listing. That's a lot per pencil for, oh no. <laughs> Did it really? Did I leave? Oh my gosh. Let's see. <laughs> 198 per pencil. Let's, let's fix that. There we go. That's hilarious. But yeah, it was interesting for the breakdown. So I'm planning on sharing that uh, in my stories, in my stories later, because I took um, individual pictures of them and everything. Okay, um, I don't know what I want to do with the flowers yet. So let's hold off. But I did want to do a green roof. So let's start with green shadow. Right? Yeah, when you break it down per pencil like that, it's it's really interesting just because like I said, when you think of the Derwent drawing, you don't necessarily think of it as a super expensive um, set of pencils because for the set that exists, it's only like around $50. <laughs> right? Yeah, they got they got a golden core. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and fill in the areas that I didn't put that light one on. So it'll end up looking a little bit mottled. Yeah, but see, that's not what we want. We want expanded Durant drawing. Here's hoping they'll decide to do that in the future. Because that would be amazing. Okay, so I'm just filling in because this isn't even as dark as the green is going to go. So where I put those kind of light grayish lines, we're filling in the rest of it. Oh, I know, right? I did ask Stedler, and they have no plans to expand the Ergosoft, unfortunately. That being said, uh, they use the same color palette for, like, all of their pencils. Like, same color names and everything. So if you're really desperate, you're not missing out. But, yes, I would love it if they expanded that. Sip of water here. <gasps> you got your program working! Yay! <laughs> right? I know, right? Oh my gosh. 150 of the Derwent drawing. It would probably be like 350 bucks for 150 of them. But my gosh, I would save for it. Absolutely. <laughs> right, Sue? I don't blame you. I don't blame you. All being crazy over there. Chirping. Okay. Um, Let's see. Let's put that there. All right. Let's get our darker green then. And let's do... So all of Earth... Yeah, that's really the only strong uh, green there is. I'm going to get it at a fine point here. But yeah, I absolutely love them. Okay, so all of Earth. Also, my hands are definitely acting up today. So if I'm extra shaky, that's why. I had coffee today, but I only ever have half calf. I tried my drawing pencils the other day. I can't seem to like them. Maybe I'm not doing something right. They're very soft. They are very soft. So if you are used to a harder leaded pencil, it's going to take a bit of an adjustment time. Although, man, I feel spoiled now getting to use 24 colors after that uh, one pencil challenge. I'm over here thinking, oh, I can't use my blender. But I get to use my blender now, so it's super exciting. Uh, do you think it's a good price for the Dewent Life Pass pencil for $250? Um... I can't say for sure because I didn't pay much attention to the early days. I'll say right now, the price that the Prismacolors are at, $159 for $150, that is way overpriced. Like, I have seen them on sale or sometimes like a Black Friday as low as like $79. Like, it, Prismacolors do not need to be that expensive. Because right now they break down to $1.06 per pencil when like, yeah, which... It's the equivalent to Lira, to the Lear Rembrandt, but still, for the um, for the light fast, yes, probably because they are immensely good. Prismacolor would maybe be worth that price if they took the effort to make sure that their cores were centered and there was a full layer of glue all the way throughout. Is Amazon the best price to get twelve white Prisma pencils? That's where I've gotten it only because it comes with the free shipping. But if you're already placing an order on like Blix or, you know, somewhere online, I would just get it there. It really just comes down to the breakdown per pencil. So you can go on something like Blix and be like, OK, so I don't think Blix does a 12 pack of white pencils. So if you just do the breakdown of the cost, you do the cost divided by the number of pencils and that'll give you the per pencil listing. Um but the thing with with Amazon is if you have Prime, you get the free shipping. So if you even if they're priced exactly the same and you have to pay shipping on Blick, then it's not going to be a better deal because of the shipping. So it's it's really situational. 
Jerry's 36. 36 set is 150 for the um, Prisma colors. Yeah, yeah, I would say definitely keep an eye. I got mine for $35. I think you disgruntled Blick. Wait, what? You got your light fast for $35? That seriously? I also have to consider getting a bigger set at at a one-time price over buying a couple sets and overall cost. Depends on the cost and the quality of pencil. Yeah, exactly. Blix 100 set is $250. Is this for Prismacolor? Oh, no, for Lightfast. For Lightfast. I got you. Yeah. Yeah, and especially because I take that moment. Like, if I do another order on Blix at some point, I'm probably going to stock up on the um, Lumis that I've already uh, used up. Two sets of Prism... Wasn't one of those though? Didn't you get one of them and it was like a counterfeit one? But either way, yeah. The right now, I would not recommend. I mean, granted, prices have gone up for everything. So I don't know if it's gonna go back down. I just know that 159 for a set of Prismas is just ridiculously overpriced. Like I said, I've seen it as low as $79, which I feel like is more than worth. I feel like they put their prices up because of like they can, because it's a well-known name. And most, the average person is not deep diving into, you know, types of pencils and prices. Like, they're going to be like, oh, it's a nice set of pencils, so of course it's that much. But I would struggle to pay that much. Let's see. Oh, backup set for me and one for Chase. See, that's awesome. Polly's were fake and I think, oh, and you returned. I got you. No, it was legit. Blick. Oh, I remember that. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, definitely price it out. Absolutely. And, and I do the same thing. Like, do I have my... Uh, no, I kind of... I think I've got them in my white Prisma drawer. But it usually has its own... Uh, <laughs> its own set. But as we know, I don't put anything away. So there's that. Yeah, definitely wait for coupons. Man, I wish... I wish that Michaels hadn't got rid of their coupons. And unfortunately, like Joanne's too, it has limitations on on brands. Like, oh my gosh, like all their cricket stuff is never part of the coupons. And I'm like, come on. <laughs> oh, and it's it's in the wash now, but I did transfer that t-shirt design, uh, t-shirt design to um uh, uh, to a new shirt. I'm beginning to realize though, especially with vinyl, one of the things I'm learning is that smaller designs aren't necessarily better. The vinyl definitely holds up better when I have like a thicker design, whether it's the uh, permanent vinyl on cups or it's the iron on on shirts. Like, yeah, it does better with a thicker design. Right? They are fabulous. You can be like, order a few sets on sale and then totally forget you did and then order another set for backup. At least it'll never run out. You know, I actually have a couple Koinor. I feel like I haven't given it uh, given Koinor a solid chance. Um, okay, let's. I don't know that I want that brown. Let's go ahead and grab. Let's see, what is this one? That is the Solway Blue. Let's do some of the Crag Green. I always see those shirts where customers go in and draw masterpieces with the prismas on the test paper. The <laughs> right, they're using up the pencils, man. Although as it is, I try to refrain from purchasing open stock. Like, I don't know. I guess if I run it, like I do Jerry's on Rama, but like Michael's and Hobby Lobby and such, like I, unless I really need the color, I try to steer clear because half the time those pencils get dropped or mishandled or chucked in the bag or whatever else. And it just, oh, it's just, just cringeworthy. I'm like, oh, they're going to be so damaged. Some instant saw the most call to me pencil case advertised on Amazon. Bad Amazon, bad Amazon. I don't need another pencil case. But, but are you sure you might? <laughs> let's see uh did that with the brute funer 520 ordered one for super cheap and then several months later saw them on sale on amazon for super cheap so i bought them they arrived the same date that's hilarious yeah i've got a couple i've got a couple of the purples also how is the sound today so i did notice because the way i have it set up unless the mic's close like it's going to fade in and out when like i lean away from it so i'm trying to make a more conscious effort to stay near the mic it's not like overly loud is it i'm trying not to raise my voice too much sound is good okay good right i know the amount of zipper cases that i have okay cool 
Yeah, because I like the softer sound that I get from this mic, but I'm like, it's not going to count if it's like all super faded and everything. Okay, let's grab a little bit of the ink blue. But yeah, oh my gosh, I could talk to <laughs> when we had the friends over last night. I definitely, um, you guys know me. I'm incredibly extroverted. I know, I know. Everyone is shocked. Um, but it's really easy to get me on topics that I, that I like. And I'm, I, uh, I definitely talked a fair amount last night, <laughs> but it's a few small sets in a new 200 slot pencil case. that makes me so happy. Right, Josephine? <laughs> bad Emily, bad Emily, but, but you also might, you might need it. I don't know. Jennifer was cleaning while I was recovering and asked me what something was. And it was a full set of polys. <laughs> I didn't know I had. <laughs> That's amazing. Ev. That's amazing. But you know, then it's like Christmas. It's like it's like when you uh, open up an old purse and you find like a ten dollar bill in there. Like that's always that's always good, right? Such a surprise. Hey, what you doing up here? So yeah, Saturday we'll be doing. Uh, <laughs> It's funny, like I call it a birthday stream because it happens to be the stream closest to my birthday. But, you know, it'll give me a chance to wear a party hat. But um, I know my mom is sending me something and Steve got me a little something. But I don't know that we're going to do much. I think we'll have like a cake or something. The thing of it is, is I just don't know that many people here yet. So I think I'll just chill and take the day off. <laughs> there must be a part of you that's introverted. Is that the opposite of uh, of introverted? Because, yeah, I'm definitely, I'm definitely that. I have no, and part of it is too, I'm used to these conversations where I do the talking because I'm the one with the mic. And so, like, I have to remind myself to, like, chill out, ask questions about them. <laughs> Ooh, fun, Yana. Thinks it's awesome I forget and buy something again because then she gets the good stuff. <laughs> oh, I love it. Birthday's on the 23rd. That's awesome, Natalie. Yeah, I'm going to be 38. It's more of just the realization that 40, 40 is creeping up, and I just didn't realize it was that close. You want to no buy for the rest of the year? Because I have... Mm, yeah, yeah, I don't blame you on that one. Um, I somehow miscalculated... Like, I don't know. I just... I miscalculated some of the bills for when I had, like... I went to the specialist hospital for this thing in my head and like I got this message it's like by the way you owe this and I'm like I'm sorry what <laughs> like I called them and they were like yeah that's normal and I'm like oh okay food was a nice thing to have <laughs> say in the past tense oh gosh but thankfully uh, a lot of these hospitals have like monthly monthly bills and stuff I'm like well all right I guess that was unexpected but you know it is it is what it is and honestly if it's as simple as just following up and doing a new scan like the following year to make sure nothing has changed i'm like i feel like i don't want to go back to the specialist hospital just because i don't feel like giving them another five car payments um <laughs> No, it's more than that. But anyway, the point is, I'm like, if it's just a MRI to check and see if it's changed, like, I feel like my local doctor could do that. <laughs> right, Marilyn? I know, exactly, Britt. <laughs> Josephine, 40 is easy because you're young. Yeah, I don't know. You know, but everybody, I think, has that kind of come to grips moment when you start hitting, you know, your 40s is what? Officially middle age. You're so, you know, when you're young, you just, you know, the day's going to come when you're, you know, 40, 50, 60, whatever. But it's hard to imagine it actually being there. How are you, Carol? Right, Marilyn? Oh, thank goodness. It's only that, though. Gosh, don't you love insurance? Ah, oh, thanks, Bray. Yeah, we're, we're working up to it. It's going to darken up for sure. But we're definitely working our layers up. 47 next month, right? Well, I was having a conversation uh, with my mom the other day and I was talking about, um, you know, just the differences between because where I have to go uh, daily, there's a lot of a lot of young people in their 20s. And it's just like I some of the things that they choose to wear, I would never wear. But part of it is 
my mom said that's like it's just a sign of you getting older like you'd rather just you know dress what you're comfortable in anyway and I suppose that's the case. I mean, I definitely was a bit more free with my clothing choices when I was younger, but I was like, I suppose that's the case. I don't know. Like, it's just, I don't know. Getting older is, is weird. I don't know how I feel about it. <laughs> Sounds good, Alex. <laughs> right, Sue? I know. See, and that's the thing is I remember I very much have less of the, you know, when I was younger, somebody in their 30s was just, oh, and I'm using ink blue now. I'm just kind of going back and forth between the blue and the green and building up the contrast. When I was younger, you know, someone who was in their 30s, that was just so old. And now here I am, like, going to be 38. And I'm just like, it's really not that old. And I have less of a reaction. Like, if I see someone in their 70s, I don't have a reaction of, you know, oh, that's so old. It's more of like, God, I would love to sit down with them and talk to them about things that they've experienced in their life. It's more like I value the older generation because now I'm aware of how much life experience that they can pass on to the younger generation, I suppose. But it's just I think I started realizing that because I worked in a retirement home for a while. And more than anything, if I had time on my hands while I was at work, you know, monitoring things like I would go and hang out with them and have conversations and just talk about life and it was like the most it was probably the best part about the job <laughs> she was young but still no man <laughs> right <laughs> age 20 then kids remind me of my oldness every year i know right well and part of it is like i don't know a little little emily was like oh your birthday is coming up and i was just like oh, i wasn't really planning on doing anything and the look on her face was just like what so part of you know when we do birthday things it's partially for them and I don't know, I'm like, I like, I like presents as much as the next person, but also like, even if I knew enough people to invite over for a party, rather than spending money on a party, I'd rather set it aside and save it for, you know, something I've been wanting or whatever else. But yeah, I don't know. I think I'm becoming too practical for birthdays. Does that make sense? <laughs> All of a sudden turned 18 a couple weeks ago. It's a thing. Oh, yeah, that's the other thing is like, so since I've started, I want to get a little bit of red on this house. Since I've started decorating the house um, downstairs in our kind of entryway, there's a long wall there. <laughs> Graveyard music. What? Oh, up there. I was listening to my 80s music last night. My son told me to put up my grave more. Well, I was listening to the 80s this morning. What? Youngest will be 23. Twins. Nice. My youngest is 30. <laughs> Brian lives in my head. Turn 30 on the 8th of April. Is it just surreal? Claire, hello, Claire. Claire, I am loving your pages. I was going to ask, are you, I'm assuming you're planning on doing a, a background on your shoe page, right? I'm using Ruby Earth now. Because that is going to look so pretty when it's done. Absolutely. Suzanne, oh my goodness, it's a party. Did you girls plan your entrance together? <laughs> Hi, everyone. But, um... Yeah, it's just so I look at like, because Steve and I have this thing where ever since we have been together, well, ever since we moved to Texas, um, which was quite a while ago, uh, we've been taking uh, yearly family pictures, starting with the very first picture was just me and Steve. And then when little Emily was born and all of that. So we currently have a good number of pictures uh, on the wall. And I just like I look across them and the fact that we have that many pictures by itself is just surreal. But you know, little Emily's getting older, we're starting to reach more milestones. And I'm just like, when did this happen? Like, I'm not ready for it. Am I the oldest here again? I don't know, Jeanette. <laughs> back in the olden days did you right i know like i tell the kids that when i was born google didn't exist and their minds were just blown my kids threatened me with 80s music at my funeral i told them it'll be in my will at the end of the service they have to play pop goes the way so it was good claire actually it was really good so i made um i was telling on claire stream so we had people over uh last night our first official uh guests to the house um but i made uh Paul, are you sitting on my sharpener? Here, I'm going to pet you, but also there it is. He's chilling here, but my sharpener was over there. <laughs> Melissa looks in the mirror. I'm old. I know I put a mirror uh, up by our front door and Steve's like, when did I get old? I'm like, about the same time as me, hon. <laughs> but um, made the ziti. It was really good. So it's penne noodles, spaghetti sauce. I actually used ground turkey instead of ground beef um parmesan mozzarella it's all mixed together and then you put it on top and you put it in the oven like heat up for 30 minutes this just 
is not accurate. Like I swear this looks darker than it is. Um, but I made some really good green beans too, where I put them in a pan and then I um, put about three tablespoons of butter, like kind of spread around. I did a whole bag of green beans, you know, trim the ends, but I cut up a whole shallot, like three cloves of garlic and I let it roast in the oven for a while. And it was so good. It was so good. Who's older? Emily or Steve? Steve. Steve is a couple years. He will definitely be hitting 40 uh, before I do, but he, he is a He's like a year and a half older than me, but he turns that beforehand. Um, but yeah, so he he is closer to 40 than I am. Dark sense of humor in our house. Dude, I'd love it if they can't confirm my extra. Oh gosh, don't you love all that? Um, but yeah, I did um so I did the green beans, I did the ziti, I did salad, and then um I made garlic bread, but I had put things in the oven to keep it warm and the garlic bread got a little toastier than uh than I would have liked only because I got distracted because I was like saying hello to everyone and whatnot. Um and then I had made just some gluten-free brownies, nothing fancy, it was just like a box mix. I thought about doing something fancier, but I was like, I'm not gonna have time. But they ended up really good. They're super gooey and delicious. Sounds good, Josephine. Just met our youngest, 37, and her children. Wait, for the first time? Or do you mean you went and met up with them? Because <laughs> I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> you only met your youngest for the first time. <laughs> 37 and her children. Well, that's me. I'm 37 right now. But I'll be, uh, I'll be 38 very shortly. Okay, I want to do a little bit of red down on the bottom side. Like I said, I swear it's darker than this in real life, but I don't want it to be so dark. Still want to eat right? Now you need a brownie? Uh, absolutely. Yes. How is, what was it? Bonnie, Bonnie the Yorkshire pud. <laughs> but yeah, it was, it was really tasty. I really like the green beans and those, those got eaten up. You know that when people go back for seconds that it's, that it's good. Even the kiddo, well, the kiddos didn't eat the green beans, but they did eat the salad and they ate the ziti. So if the kids are willing to eat it, then you'll know uh, it was a success. But yeah, it was super tasty. Okay, let's do a little bit of green. <laughs> Bessie, that's what a Bessie. Bessie the Yorkshire. Hey, Paul, are you going to... Look at this cat. He is just... He's taking over. We're just going to shift there so we can at least continue coloring. Is that cool with you? All right. Oh, my gosh. Silly kitty. All right, so I'm using Crag Green right now. My pencils are... They're underneath him. Look at this. We've got one. <laughs> Two, <laughs> three, four, <laughs> five. Is that it? Is that all of them? I don't think I had any short ones there. Okay. You're just going to like roll on top of this, aren't you? He's looking at me like, stop messing with me. <laughs> Squeaky teeth. You know what's funny is, so we have a, a Middle Earth thing and they did like it once, you know, I pointed out a few things, but I told Steve, I was just like, hmm. We need to do more to Lord of the Rings stuff so it's more obvious. Because it definitely, at first glance, it looks more floral, I think, until you uh, get closer and, like, look at some of the stuff. So it's like, all right. It'll help once I have the paintings done. Started going gray at 18. Let's see. 36 in this month and I'm finding gray hairs. Oh, I've got, yeah. Like, I was doing my hair this morning. Like, I don't know if we can even see any of them. But, oh, yeah, the, like, there's this one rogue gray hair that's, like, doing its own thing it wouldn't even straighten today oh no look at that but it's weird because it's like coarse and it's like kind of curly I, I don't know i don't know i have very straight hair and it's just doing its own thing <laughs> uh going for massage oh yeah no that sounds wonderful doing with the move oh they've adjusted they, although he he did not like uh having guests over he did venture down to eat so i'll call that uh i'll call that a win but um it was also guests over and then we had the storm rolling through and he does not do well with okay this isn't quite turning out i i, I think i colored in too much but it's okay we'll still get kind of a a kind of uneven he's told oh he is he is we've already shifted it over a couple inches every time <laughs> I wonder like well no because plucking would be the same as waxing so I don't know <laughs> we just gotta embrace Clive <laughs> yeah definitely Brit absolutely started going great 12 was totally great before 30 that's like um Steve Martin he went he went great really early okay so let's see let's take a little bit of our light blue this is smoke blue 
And I feel like these are windows. If not, I'm making them windows. So we're gonna just go really lightly with this blue. And they are gonna be shadowed a bit. So let's grab, let's see, what do I want? Ivory, mm, ivory black is gonna be too dark. Let's do the olive earth. <laughs> He's my, him and him and Bessie can hang out. Bessie the pud and uh, Clive the rogue, the rogue hair. He's waiting to eat that fish. I know, right? Oh, look at that. He's just stretching all over. You could at least shift to the left a little bit. Are you going to be mad if I shift you? Just, just, just a smidge. Just a smidge. He's like, woman, I was laying there. Look at He's curling back. Little turkey. <laughs> right, Claire? Not a gray hair on your head, but wait, aren't you, am I misremembering? Are you... Are you blondish? I know I've seen a video or two. I think with it, well, like when you have dark gray hair, it probably stands out a little bit more. <laughs> right, Suzanne? I will say like when I first started seeing gray hairs, I definitely plucked them, but like just in my hair. But then I realized it was a bit of a losing battle and I'll just embrace it. So I've stopped doing that and I'm just like, eh. And dyeing my hair is too much of a pain to keep up with. Hey there. I'm just going to sit there. All right. As long as the tail's not on the coloring page. <laughs> I used to color my hair until my niece paid 150 to dye her hair gray. So I'm like, yeah, heck, gray hair is in style. No brunette, dark brown with red highlights. Huh. Well, yeah. All right. Enjoy your uh, wonderful hair. <laughs> I do it myself from a box. Well, I don't know. I just don't have the patience for it. I feel like I need to be kinder to my hair anyway, because with the medicine that they put me on for the thyroid stuff and, and everything else, it's just like my hair has not been the same. So I'm like, all right, we're just going to slowly accept it, I suppose. Let's see. I don't want to do that. Let's go ahead and get just a little bit of the ivory black. <laughs> right. I'd love a totally silver mane. Right. I know. Right. Be cool to have a white strip. Oh, yeah. The um. oh, what do they call that? There, you know, it's actually like a genetic thing to have like a single like white patch. Oh, I can't think of the name of it. But my dad is almost 80 and just starting to get salt and pepper in his hair. All my hair is gray under the color. There you go. For years now. Yeah. See, if I didn't mind the ip, the ip keep, upkeep, then I'd like go blue or purple or something. All right. So I'm using ivory black. I just want to get the kind of shadow under under the eaves of the uh of the roof here but i think this is the first time i've ever done like a matching opposite page with the same uh same color tone so i think it's gonna look nice we call it a lunar there you go i like it you should totally go blue and i would i would except it'll fade quickly and it's so expensive to upkeep and again i'm too practical to spend any amount of money i'd rather save it for things I got my eye on that. Uh, I see. We're gonna do warm gray. Um, I've got my eye on that uh, binding machine, so I can sell books eventually. Uh, so I'm like, well, I could spend 150 on my hair, or I could not and set it aside for the binding machine, which actually might only be around 100, but still, I don't spend 100 dollars lightly. <laughs> Ooh, silver white would be pretty. Fuchsia purple, I maintain myself. Oh, I love that. The bleaching through the sun. I get one a year. Oh, see, that works. Went purple. Always wanted to be do blue hair, but hairdresser talked me out of it because it fades quickly. Yeah, see? We have a duck and a nest of eggs. Oh, I love that, Jeanette. I got braces at 34 and still color. I can't give it up just yet. I don't blame you. You're good. My mom did um, at one point, and then she just decided she was done. So she cut her hair real short and was letting it grow out. Hi, Lucy. How are you? I just had more of that LaFranc Bourgeois flash paint delivered. Oh, no, Catherine's eye rolls. Hey, she was the one that was telling you what was what was the other set of pencils that she was? Was it is it light fast? Hi, dude. Are you just OK? I will give pets. But then this is absolutely this isn't even manageable. OK, we're going to do pets. But then you've got to choose either the left side of the decks or you got to get down. You're choosing down. That's fine. All right, sweet. We have our desk back. <laughs> right, D. Oh, I love that, Jeanette. 
on the ends a few years ago. I did like a couple streaks of the ash blue, light yellow ochre, gray, green, and pastel. See, at this point, you're going to have enough. Um, you're going to have enough colors that you will just need to um, do an entire page just in those paints. Mm, nice. I've been eyeballing um, some more sets of acrylic paint because I have that small set of the Arteza uh paint but i'm gonna be using it up i have plans for so many paintings um so i'm working on the hobbit hole one and then i'm gonna do another lord of the rings one a bigger one um and then i have some fun paintings in mind for um the upstairs so steve and i really like stardew and we've been playing it a lot lately because they recently came out with an update so i want to make a stardew themed um painting and then for the kids, there was this really cool count that I stumbled across. Um, she creates like 3D Pokemon cards by stacking them. And I don't have the patience for that, but I have these 11 by 14 canvases that are blank right now. And I'm like, oh my gosh, what if I made 11 by 14 paintings that are Pokemon on the cards on the canvas? Because they have their, any video games that they play, it's up in the loft, which is kind of just like our landing area. And so I was like, we could totally do Pokemon card painting. So it's like, I have all of these projects in the pipeline in my mind that I want to do, um, but I just, I, it, I can't paint faster. <laughs> There's 76 colors. There you go. Artisans. Yes, yeah, so I do, but I'm using them all. I mean, when you're doing big paintings, um, it uses them up and I'm definitely like starting to run low on set. So I'm thinking what I want to get is a larger set of tubes of just primary colors rather than um, getting the smaller tubes again. And then that way I can make whatever colors I need. So that was the Mars Violet. And then let's do, let's do a little bit of the Ruby Earth. Let's see. I scroll through all the flash colors with a single tube, right? <laughs> My daughter has gold tinsel put in her hair. Oh, that sounds pretty. If in doubt, black it out, exactly. Official background Dodger just painted. <laughs> Oh, I know it. Well, you know, it's funny. My mother-in-law uh, texted me and she she usually sends me a gift for my birthday. And so she's like, oh, hey, is your Amazon wishlist updated? And I'm like, oh, it is. And the reason it's updated is because my Amazon wishlist is what keeps me from shopping all the time. So if I can't bring myself to purchase it, I just put it up there and look at it long. Oh, I just hit my glasses on them. <laughs> I'm trying to keep it close so that my my audio doesn't like fade or whatever. So I had my head here and then I just turned it and smacked my glasses on it. So we're we're making good friends here. <laughs> oh, see, I have canvases. In fact, some of the uh, fluid art ones that I made, I'm painting over because I'm kind of tired of them. Um, <laughs> and so I have canvases. It's just, I'm probably gonna run out. When you use watercolor on that book, does it bleed through? Uh, it does not. So I did watercolor here after I'd already done pencil on this page. And it's really not bad. I'm just careful about how much water I put on it um, because you can kind of tell when you're adding water to color book paper. So like this side was watercolor also. I need to like re-iron it because it's a little bit crimpy here. Um, but you can tell, you can tell if the water starts to break down the pages. Purely save it for when I decide to buy one. <laughs> there you go. Uh, this had some gouache on it, which I do need to finish this. Um, but no, I, I just mostly watch how much water that I put on it. <laughs> right, Britt? Exactly. I call it my window shopping. I was pastel shades for backgrounds. So hard to choose, right? Yeah, right there with you. But yeah, so it just keeps me up. Plus, it will let me know if like it goes on sale or something. Pixie, hello. Thank you for allowing comments after being subscribed for five minutes. I wanted to ask when you do the Pokemon card paintings, will you please share that? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Because the 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 11 by 14 is like the perfect shape for the Pokemon cards. I've been trying to think about like the lettering on it because obviously there's a lot of lettering on Pokemon cards. And so like I might do vinyl and and, you know, put the put the letters on that way or do reverse vinyl since I paint it because I'm not sure how well the vinyl will stick if there's texture. But I also thought that if I do the cut out version of the vinyl and of the vinyl and paint it on, then I could do like a single layer of the of the background color and then do the black on top. I don't know. I'm still brainstorming. Love to be a crow, right? They're so smart, too. Ooh, nice, Suzanne. 
a few of my smaller uh, fluid art painting I've cut up are using as some of the artwork for my mini houses. Oh, I like that. Yeah. And I do the five minute to, to be a subscriber because there was a while where a lot of us were getting um, pretty, pretty embarrassingly uh, linked um, spam in chat. And so uh, I put that on there so we get that less. Are you going to do them live? Oh, oh, no, the Suzanne thing. Wait, Suzanne, are you streaming tonight? Or are you just using tonight by yourself? Oh, just on a page I'm using. Okay, okay. I was just like, wait a minute. Did I miss something? <laughs> did I miss a dream? Um, okay, so let's do the green shadow for the roof again. But yeah, so I want to do a Stardew painting. I want to do the, like, because you can see. Uh, let, here, let's switch over here. Uh, down here. This is that painting that I'm still working on that I have not had time to continue working on it. Um, but there's that one. And then I think I have the big canvas over here. Hang on. So I know you're not going to be able to hear me that well because of the mic, but I'll show you. So um, Hobby Lobby, I usually check their clearance section. I usually check their clearance section and they had this massive size painting. What is it? I don't even know what size it is. I want to say 18 by 24. Anyway, um, it was just a printed print. It's like, oh, the exposures. Uh, why, yeah. Anyway, it's just a printed print and it was like stuffed on it. You know, because a lot of time the Hobby Lobby clearance is like broken stuff. Um, but it has like a little semi frame here. So it was five bucks. I snatched it up. I think, re yeah, regularly was a $50 print. And I'm like, uh, yeah, I'm not paying $50 for some online print or whatever. But anyway, it was five bucks because it was kind of damaged. And so I brought it home and I painted over it. And so this is going to be another look <laughs> in my super, uh, adventurous mode. I was like, Ooh, I could do like Rivendell on here, but also I don't hate myself. So I'm not going to do <laughs> But then these are like 10 by, hang on, no, what are they? They're, I don't remember the size. These are decently sized. I mean, you can see next to me. So this is an older fluid art painting and this one was too, but I went over it with white. So I'm probably going to do a square one of the Stardew one. And then the, um, I have the 11 by 14, hang on. So I had gotten these at um, Michael's for a project that I ended up not doing. So I have like three of the 11 by 14, which are pretty much the exact same size uh, for Pokemon cards. So I'm going to do that on here. But like I said, I have all these ideas, but only so much time to get them done. <laughs> Let's see. Right. Yeah. Uh, Barbara's uh, watercolor is amazing. Hey, Paul, are you coming back? Hi. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, Pixie, I'm glad. Do you have, I, that's what it is. Like you have so many things you want to do, but you just can't do them all at once. I need more arms. Right. So I have blank canvases, but I keep an eye out for, um, for sales and deals and stuff. But yeah, it was in the clearance section and I'm just like, well, I'll just paint over it and it'll be fine. Bunch of Johanna's books and Tulu. Oh, awesome. Ooh, nice, Marcy. Okay, uh, I was using green. That's right. What was it? Pale cedar. I think it was this one. But yeah, so I have all these plans for paintings I want to do. There is just not enough hours in the day, and I do not have enough energy. I was exhausted last night. Normally, like, I stay up kind of late. Like, I'm usually up until at least midnight because I'm a bit of a night owl, but I crashed last night. I was exhausted. So wait, media mail, what'd I miss? Do I have a full-time job as well as you? Uh, mom, that's the full-time job. <laughs> um, part of the reason that I like to do YouTube and my Etsy store and all of that because it allows me to still be home and available to um, the kids. Basically, between everything that I do, if I were to go and get a job, like for the hours I would be available to, to go get a job at like something like Target, you know, for something that's part-time for minimum wage, I make about the same as that. 
um, you know, sometimes different months fluctuate uh, depending on what. Um, but what this allows me to do is be at home and available to the kids if they need me. Um, I was working, um, doing some social media management before, uh, but just the timing of, we ended up not doing any more of it because the timing of it just didn't lay out. And honestly, as it is, like my hours are so packed, it's the perfect amount. So as far as work is concerned, like I do the live streaming, um, but I've always got like images in the pipeline of things that I need to draw. I'm doing mermaid this year. There's the sticker club. There's the monthly download here. And then, um, I am toying with the idea of making my own book and publishing it myself. So making the books and sending them out directly from here. Um, so there's, <laughs> there's never a lack of things to do for sure. Hi, you are welcome. I feel like I missed something here. I never bought anything smaller than 16 by 20. I have some huge ones tucked away. Yeah, I do. I definitely have a lot of teeny tiny ones. Getting tired of my painting I have hanging, so it's time to break out the paints again. Right? I don't blame it. Exactly, Lucy. I will. I just realized his tail is. Can we put that over there? Or over here? Can I have? He's <laughs> just swishing it, and I can't like. Trying to move and he moves it back. If we go this way, no, no, it's literally you could have. <laughs> well, see, and if I get the, okay, if I, can I just, can I shift your booty? Can we do a booty? Sh no, that's, that's more on it. That's more on it. Are you serious? Are you serious? You're covering the whole book. Like, <laughs> right? <laughs> oh, thanks, Pixie. Paul, oh, let me see. This is incredibly inconvenient. I have a page to do. Is there any chance? Is there <laughs> any chance that you could just like shift this way? Okay, I'm going to take my pencils out from underneath you. Okay, I'm going to put them here. Now we're going to see, like, I don't want to just shove them off. I'm just going to, I'm just going to rotate. We're going to pivot. Okay. I need you to like channel Ross Geller here. Okay. Pivot, pivot, pivot. No, you're moving. <laughs> we're pivoting the book, Paul. Right. Okay. Are you going? Okay. I love you. I'm sorry. But you're on my page. <laughs> 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 Oh, seriously, Durbin? Oh, can you can you put pictures in the Discord when you're done? I love that. <laughs> right? Well, he's upset because we've changed it to where the cats are not um, allowed in the bedrooms unsupervised. Um, Isis was having some uh, issues with her with her waterworks a few weeks ago, and she's just getting old, and so I can't really trust her where there are beds um, by herself. So if I'm not in the room the door stays shut most of the time. It's not like there isn't plenty of places for them to rest and sleep and everything. But because of that, they are now disallowed from rooms they usually are allowed in and they're not thrilled about it. <laughs> mm, that's fair, Durbin. I know, like I was making such good progress on that Hobbit painting, but because I haven't had time, I haven't had time. And not to mention my easel is kind of, um, uh, kind of funky. Um, right now. So I am setting aside to get a new easel that I want. I know Renee, you shared those links, but I've got my eye specifically on a nice wood one. Um, and so I haven't really gotten back to it later. I don't know. Like I said, <laughs> I put things on my wish list, so I don't buy them. So I, at any given time, I have like four things I'm saving for. <laughs> Cases on sale, Amazon, it's all your fault. How many did you get? <laughs> Uh, that was a little bit of the ink blue. And now I'm back to the olive earth because I want these rooms to be uh, primarily green. But see, I don't mind saving either because I feel like it makes me appreciate the items so much more when I finally get my hands on them. So, yeah. But uh, so I'll, I'll finish them at some point. I want to finish them sooner rather than later. And I keep thinking of things like I want to do and I want to make and like all of this, but there's just not the amount of like work in progress stuff. Like that shirt that I was working. Hi, Thomas. Welcome. That shirt that I was, uh, um, 
working on with the Johanna design on it, it took me like two and a half days to actually get it weeded all the way because you got to pull all the little things. And oh my gosh, there were so many tiny ones. Um, oh, right. Oh, well, thank you so much, Elise. I'm so sorry I passed or she passed. The holder off the page to color exactly exclamation point i thank you so much those handy dandy hype emotes i appreciate the support there we go yes and welcome thomas um but yeah no he's he's his own character he kind of does what he wants I, i'd like to think that paul is essentially our uh our mascot bye sue thank you for being here Okay, so I don't know if it's just a South thing, but anybody who lives South, have you noticed more of those woolly bear caterpillars around? They are everywhere. I did the lawn the other day and I had to rescue like six of them from the uh, from the weed eater. But dang, those things are fast. Like there's a back road that we take on the way home and those things are like booking it across the road. I'm like, you're a caterpillar. You shouldn't be crossing the road. <laughs> hey, but at least the Yorkshire Pud doesn't leave uh, cat fur everywhere, make your nose itchy, and then refuse to move. <laughs> okay, we're going to use green shadow now. Your, 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 your pudding cup uh, leaves, leaves, it's, uh, uh, you know, it's got potential, whether it's fruit or savory. So you have a hard time imagining a savory pudding, but either way, it sounds delicious. When are the cicadas in Vainy? I don't know. Are those monarchs? No, they're actually going to be for moths. The monarch ones are, are a little bit more chunky. <laughs> and I think they're more green. But no, these are apparently going to be moths. Uh, and they're just those really, really fuzzy caterpillars that when you touch them, they kind of, they, they roll up. I handle them with gloves, though, because I don't know if like little hairs on their body will like come off on my hand. Oh, my gosh. Speaking of which... I have never, ooh, a lion, nice. I have never really considered um, foil, like, you know, tin foil. They're everywhere in circuit. I know they're so fuzzy. Then I just didn't realize there were that many in the yard. They lay down, um, they laid down sod, uh, you know, cause, cause it was a, it was a new, a new property, but they laid down sod a couple months ago. We were waiting to do any kind of mowing or anything until the, uh, the grass takes root. So we're not too rough on it, but it really needed to be done. And I was just like, there's so many woolly bears. Mid-May. Yeah, that and the uh, the June bugs, which probably come in June. I'm just realizing that's probably why they were called that. Um, that was the ink blue. So I'm using the all of Earth Five again. New Zealand um, Marinas. I just was in the middle of saying three different things. Oh, Kara, thank you. Get some hypes in chat for Kara. Thank you so much. I appreciate the support. And if you're new here, um, we have a thing going if you're unaware. We have a community quilt that we're working on. We have some squares up there. I still need to add Renee's charm to hers. Um, but when you type in or when you're when you're talking in chat, you earn points and then you use those points to redeem things for our quilt square. If you type in exclamation point quilt, it will give you all the info, but it doesn't like cost anything. It's just something fun uh, for us to do. And when we have like 120 of them or I don't know, maybe we'll just make an even bigger quilt. We're going to put it together and we're going to make a full quilt so you can redeem for squares and everything. It's super fun. I'm really excited to see it all finished in the end. Okay, so Ruby Earth. But yeah, I don't know how long we'll stream for on Saturday. I suppose it depends on how long it takes me to put all of the uh, all of the pencils away. <laughs> like I said, what did we say? There was four, 14? Oh, I forgot to count. There might be 15. <laughs> oh my gosh, Britt, you're so close. Are you saving up for, I feel like, was it you that were saying you're saving up for the embroidery one or are you going for the um, vinyl one? Little black and orange woolly bears, right? They're so cute. I remember like playing with those as a kid. They're just so fuzzy. They're woolly bears. Um, okay, let's use, let's use a little bit of the smoke blue. And I want to define this roof, just a, just a skosh. What time will it be on Saturday? I have not decided yet. Uh, I honestly meant to decide and then everything got super crazy busy with uh, having people come over and then little Steve being sick. But it's either going to be probably about 10 in the morning, my time, or like four in the afternoon, my time. It's going to be either one of those. Embroidery, nice. 
Um, in fact, I was pulling out my um, embroidery hoop stuff in, in preparation for that. I also have an idea for, again, it's another project I want to do for the house. But for those of you that are familiar with The Hobbit, there is a map that Thorin carries around uh, of the Lonely Mountain. Anyway, the part in the map with the Lonely Mountain, the dragon flying around, I want to turn that into embroidery. So um, I, was, I found some good kind of neutral colored fabric that I want to use that for. I think it's going to look really cool. Oh, nice, Vicky. He is finally. Yes, absolutely. Uh, he finally stopped getting fevers. He had a little bit of a headache last night, but I think he just had too much sugar because um, we allowed him to have um, some Sprite last night. And then he had uh, one of the brownies after after we ate. They don't usually get that much sugar in the evening, but, you know, it was a special occasion. And so he had a little bit of a headache, but he was feeling perky this morning. But mama usually knows how to fix it because I'm a bit of a headache expert. <laughs> right well and i've seen pictures of the dragon embroidery so it's going to be i actually have the cloth all ready for it go figure so this is going to be the hoop that i use for the squares because it's smaller because it's smaller and then this is the size i found some of this nice kind of uh linen colored fabric that i had you can see it's got like the little speckles and stuff and i've got some stuff where i'm going to put the design on it and then um, I plan on embroidering the whole thing here. And then I'm going to turn this over and like hide all of this. And then it will just, and I'll probably trim it too. It'll just go on the wall just like this. And so it'll have like the mountain here, the dragon here, and then it'll say the lonely mountain. Right. Ooh, the turtle lens. Yes. Right, Pixie? Yes. Massive Lord of the Rings uh, fans here. Uh, there were a couple things I did end up getting from Amazon. One of them was a um, tapestry of like half the map of Middle Earth. And then I got a uh, tissue box holder that looks like three stacked books. Uh, <laughs> and so that's that's for the, the living room downstairs. I feel like I want this to be darker, but I think we're going to need to wait till we get the rest of the colors down. So let's go ahead and do the Mars violet again. Although uh, the people that came over last night, they did like the sign that I have on the downstairs guest bathroom that says no admittance except on potty business. Because <laughs> I'm classy like that. Okay, we need some red. I'm trying to leave some of the spots like we did for the kind of lighter color and I'm going over on that a bit but it's okay it's also really light gray so I'm having a hard time seeing where it's at but it was nice to have people over we need to do like Steve and I used to do like poker nights and board game nights and all kinds of stuff spoiler alert uh I'm pretty good at poker <laughs> oh nice pixie massive Lord of the Rings fan but I cannot get into the hobbit I don't know if it's Martin Freeman's aghast expression but he seems to have it that's fair. Um, Claire, have you read any of the books? I haven't like read read. I've done Audible on them. They're a bit rough to get through. And like Tom Bombadil doesn't even exist in the movies. But <gasps> oh, see if they had learned about their expenses. Uh, yeah, probably. Uh, little Steve is younger. He he is younger uh, than than little Emily. They're both like primary. Like I, I've I've at least said that they're primary age. But you guys know me. I'm pretty. Uh, Pretty private when it comes to the kiddos. But yes, they're both primary, but uh, little Emily is older. Right, Durbin? Oh, my gosh. Okay, so uh, I was watching the cartoons again, and then something popped up on my For You page on TikTok. TikTok is finally figuring out what I like to see. And it popped up, and it was somebody who came across the song, um, you know, in the, the Hobbit version, it's the uh, road goes ever, ever on. Um, anyway, yes, so good. I will have to, f I saved it. So I'll see, I'll put like the link in Discord or something. But um, there was somebody who redid, uh, like did a more, not modern version, but they just made it sound better where he played that song on guitar and then a girl stitched it and she did the vocals for it. It was so pretty. Do they have Tolkien diamond paintings? Oh my God, I would be all over that. Granted, I haven't done any. I still have a Scott Howden one that I really want to get done. But it's like when I sit down to do things like this, just like diamond painting is like low on the list of things I try to accomplish. But oh my gosh, probably if they have Lord of the Rings diamond paintings, they're probably pretty expensive, just like kind of the Hobbit ones, but it would still be cool. Oh, nice, Pisky. Pisky. Oh my gosh. Why did I say Pisky? Because I was reading Best and then I read Pixie and it came out Pisky. Poughkeepsie. Uh, no, I meant Pixie. <laughs> 
<laughs> words are hard. Exclamation point words in chat. <laughs> Flight of the Dragons. Ooh, I'll have to look at that one. I am all about the fantasy stuff. Absolutely. Like, honestly, just a day spent, like, with Steve, like, watching Lord of the Rings and having snacks. Like, that would be amazing. <laughs> hey, words are hard. <laughs> they really are. You just, we're just going to get mashups of words instead. Ironically enough, we play, we play a game called Words at the end of stream. All right, let's do a little bit darker red here. But this morning I ran to the post office and dropped off some books at the library after I dropped off Steve. So it was like full errands this morning. So I made sure I was like full showered and everything ready to start the day before I <laughs> left the house. Saved as uh, Viggo Mortensen singing the, oh, Viggo Mortensen. They could not have cast Strider, you know, or like they could not have cast him better. He did so good. Like, you know, there's always facts that you learn about when you're watching Lord of the Rings, uh, like when he kicks the helmet, when they think that, you know, uh, Merry and Pippin um, were killed with the Oryx. He kicks the helmet. He actually broke his toe there. Like, there's all these ones that you hear about. And he's just like, they could not have cast him better. Yes, absolutely, Elise. Um, I don't know. You know, when we were kids, it wasn't something that we had to be worried about. But yeah, I don't post pictures of them. Um Little Emily and Little Steve are not their actual names. I never say what their age is, but they get to like wave on stream and like say goodnight to chat. But yeah, no, I'm I'm super, uh, super protective of them. Right. They're so good. They're so good. He really is, Lucy. He really is. Right, Britt? I did too. Like, I know it's not canon and I'm not thrilled that they made um, Galadriel like, I don't know, in the in the movies, Galadriel and in the book, she's like this you know, really tall, majestic, super wise kind of thing. But I also get that Galadriel is supposed to be younger in the prequel. So I did like it. I know a lot of people were up in arms about it, but I thought it was good. All right, we're going to use Sanguine. Warner Brothers and Disney is at Diamond Art Club, so you should make the suggestion, right? Absolutely. Yes, it really does. Absolutely. Yeah, nope. He's too awesome for death. I know it. I know it. Absolutely. Opening doors. Go <laughs> so there's this whole side of, uh, you know, book talk and, and, you know, book girlies and everything who, you know, Pride and Prejudice, all about the, uh, you know, the, 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 the special males who just like grab her. And one of that scenes is him opening the door. And it's just like, because ah. I'm just saying, I know that like uh, the guy that I'm trying, I'm drawing a blank on his actual name, but you know, he was the, the main character on Poldark. Well, he plays, uh, he plays Feely or Keely in the Hobbit movie. I can't remember which one, but my goodness, he's, he's the hot dwarf. <laughs> exactly. Oh, Brit, I could not feel that one more. Yes. Right, Claire. Oh my gosh. Yes. Claire, you did a whole theme in your living room too, right? I remember, I remember when you kind of redid all of that. I seem to remember it turned out like absolutely amazing. Like, didn't you paint the fireplace or something? Okay, so I've heard of that, but I haven't actually seen the Pride and Prejudice and Zombies. But now I feel like I need to. Because it's more like comedy zombies, isn't it? Like uh like Shaun of the Dead. Could watch Vigo over and over and over and over again. What was that? Wasn't he in like some sort of, he had to do with horses. What was that movie that he did? I feel like I just need to go find all of Vigo Mortensen's like movies that he's done and, and go binge watch them. I'm going to sharpen this so it's a finer point. Yeah, I am all about the, the fantasy stories and everything. Hidalgo, that was <laughs> Vigo Hidalgo. Uh, but yes, Hidalgo, that's what it was. Yeah. I mean, it's it's funny. I was, I was I was telling Steve there was some movie. Oh, we were talking about um we did the connections this morning and um I don't want to spoil it for anybody who does the connections and hasn't done it yet today. Um but one of them had to do with some movies and we were it brought up the conversation about um about Kill Bill. And I remember watching it once when I was younger, but it was just I didn't like it was just kind of like eh for me. But the funny thing is is I think it has to do with the age at which I watch things initially, because like I've seen Game of Thrones and, you know, I'm well aware it's just a movie like none of it is real. But like you watch an age like I saw The Sixth Sense when I was in eighth grade and it scared the flipping crud out of me, man. 
for years, I ran and jumped on my bed because I thought something was going to reach out and grab my ankle, right? But like, were I to see that today, it probably wouldn't affect me as much. It reminds me of that video that's going around of the dog that's watching uh, Jurassic Park and is really angry at that um, velociraptor that's after the kids. Like, he's ready to protect the kids, which is just like, oh, good doggo. See, I feel like I need to rewatch that. But it's like when you have a movie that has put in, you know, put this kind of innate fear that, that you know, you had when you were younger. It's like, I feel like I would still have a hard time watching Kill Bill, despite the fact that I, as I have matured, I am able to process, you know, movies and shows better that might be, you know, that might have scared me when I was younger. But it's like it put this in my mind of, oh, this is scary. It's kind of like the Cheshire Cat from Alice in Wonderland. That cat still freaks me out. <laughs> Freddy Krueger is at four. Oh my gosh, Claire. Like, how were you not completely terrified? I like, I am thrilled to like for, get the kids to the age where I can show them all the Harry Potter movies and the, um, you know, Lord of the Rings and all of that. But they're just like, even now, like, I'm not sure if like just Gollum himself <laughs> There's this decor that I've seen, you know, because I've been looking up all the Lord of the Rings decor and whatnot. And there's like a sign you can put of Gollum in the guest bathroom where it says, don't forget to wash your handsies. You know, <laughs> it gets funny. But I feel like just the image of Gollum would probably like freak out the kids. So I'm like, all right, we won't necessarily decorate the home with Gollum yet. <laughs> You're all good, Vicky. Jurassic Park. Yeah. Sharks are swimming <laughs> because of Jaws. <laughs> Sounds good, Britt. No, you just found out what you liked early on. Like I said, like a lot of that doesn't bother me now, but. Oh, hey, hey, kitty. That was under the table. His tail was pulling out my headphones. But uh, yeah, it's just funny how we feel, how, how things are translated as kids versus now. So I'm just kind of making it so it's not a solid color. There's not a real pattern that I'm following here. I'm just sort of adding bits and pieces here and there just to give it not kind of a flat look. We're going to use a blender, I think. It's in Dollarama and saw Arteza White, 12 watt Mar the mechanical pen in Dollarama. Wow. See, Diamond Art Home has a lot of talk. Ooh, very nice. Are there canvases canvas though, or are they plastic? I found that I definitely prefer like the canvas feeling material. I say that with having like three over here that I haven't, that I haven't done. My youngest twin has been lifelong horror film junkie. Her twin was horrified by the old black and white creature. From okay. Okay. Durbin. I remember watching that when I was younger and I don't think it's so much that the character was scary, but it was the suspense just terrified me. But of course, you know, it's the creature from the black lagoon. Like it's not like it's got a high cinematic value, but when you're younger and you have like a hard time separating that thing, flip me out, man. <laughs> Welcome back, Suzanne. Ooh, what'd you make for dinner? Wait, you read The Exorcist? I didn't realize it was a book. But not the one out, yeah. We watched it and giggled throughout the whole thing because of the overacting. Oh, I'm sure. I'm sure. Like, I think it definitely has to do with, like, the age at which you watch it. But, yeah. Creature from the Black Lagoon, man. I was terrified. <laughs> Okay, so I'm just darkening this up just a little bit. And I think once we have all of our colors on, we'll probably go and add more shadow as, as we go along. Chicken thighs, coconut rice, and roasted veggies. Oh, dinner at Suzanne's. Like, seriously. Um, okay, let's do this part in brown because it's, I mean, it's kind of a roof, but not quite. And I want to mix up the colors a bit. So let's grab oh i guess this isn't even it's a sepia red so it's a reddish brown but i'm down with that oh my gosh how is it 11 30 already and this is all we've done like what okay so this is sepia red where does the time go seriously i need to be able to like have more arms pause time maybe make a clone or two of me <laughs> Right, Durbin? Exactly. Okay, now I'm going to use Warm Earth. I'm telling you, man, if we had like a coloring convention where we all met up, like we would have so much fun. Like it's not practical because we all live all over the place, but still. My brother's when I was, I saw V. Is that the name of it? Just V? I don't think I've heard that one. 
Okay, so chocolate. But I've never seen like any of like the older ones, like um, I say older, but gosh, one flew. What's the one where um Jack Nicholson is in the um the one flew over the cuckoo's nest and he's in the um like mental facility? I only know that because I used to live in an area nearby where that place was at. I don't remember the name of it now though. Oh, V for Vendetta. Okay, okay, okay. I got you. I got you. Here for horror movies. And then my husband thought he was funny and took me to Friday the 13th. Oh, my gosh. Oh, yeah. No, I couldn't. Ooh, yeah. I've heard Children of the Corn, too. Yeah, definitely. I don't know. I haven't really been watching much TV. I mostly listen to audiobooks these days. I did start um, watching Monk a little bit, but... I don't know, like a lot of times anything I've been doing in my free time needs my full attention, like the painting or whatever else. Oh, oh, I got you. It was an alien movie. Okay. Still college reading. Really? All right, Monk is great. I definitely, <laughs> first time I watched the series through, like I felt like he rubbed off on me a little. I remember because uh, the house I was watching at, we stopped, we took a break from watching it and we went over to like the local convenience store and we were like getting snacks. And without even realizing it, I was like straightening the snacks and everything. <laughs> and I looked at my boyfriend at the time and I was like, I think I need to stop watching this for a little bit. Right? The Godzilla movies. <laughs> I'm like, if, I, if I'm not even OCD and I'm straightening things, it's probably not good. All right, we're going to use a little bit of, a little bit of chocolate here. People call the movie. Ah, I gotcha. I gotcha. <laughs> I know Shannon. I know Shannon likes the Michael Myers. I feel like I, I could possibly get into that only because I love Jamie Lee Curtis. Like, I think she's just fabulous. Although I'll admit the uh, what was that movie that they got the what was that Oscars? They got the awards in the um, was everything everywhere all at once or whatever. Like, I'll admit her character in there. I was like, Bleh. <laughs> But also, like, that's Jamie Lee Curtis. Like, she'll do traditional ones, but she'll also do, like, quirky roles, right? Grew up with Michael. <laughs> I mean, and you're like, yeah, Michael's my next door neighbor. Oh, my gosh. Speaking of neighbors, you guys. I have neighbor drama that I haven't talked to. You know, we haven't lived here that long. And I've met these neighbors, and we've had, you know, just cordial words in passing, whatever else. Three times. In the last week, three times, they have uh, let their dogs um, leave presents in our yard. Like, how am I supposed to? We're going to. So we have a ring camera that we haven't put up yet. And I want to position it in a way where you can see where they're letting their dogs visit our yard. Like, we don't have dogs. Don't get a dog if you're not willing to pick up their poo. That's all I'm saying. Anyway, I digress, but I told Steve, I want to put that up so that I can go and be like, hey, can you guys not do this? And then if they say, but we didn't do it, I can be like, look, now I have video of you letting your dog do that. Either that or like the ring will go off and the moment I see them let their dogs in our yard, I'll like be like, hey, get your dog out of the yard. <laughs> it was the dogs again. Yep. Yep. It was the dogs. And it's just like once, once is a, maybe someone took a walk. And it happened to be there twice is a could be a co coincidence, but three times in the connecting front yards like that's on purpose. OK, uh, food insert here for gluten free, sugar free and so forth. Cereal. Eat your mouth. <laughs> cereal is disgusting. I'm sorry. Really? Like it wouldn't even be that big of a deal if they would just clean up after the dogs. But they're specifically like just leaving it there and oh I, I did like i don't want to create neighbor feuds because i like our neighborhood i like our house but after the third time like even the people coming over there are like i didn't think you guys had a dog and i'm like we don't have a dog no they're really not like their dogs like straight up fight in the yard all the time they just they don't and this the fact that they even if that wasn't it, but it's the fact that they're just letting the doggy bombs happen and then they leave them there. So I did order a sign. I'm using just ivory black right now. I did order a sign for the front yard. Not anything too rude, but just like, hey, if you're going to let your dog do that, please clean up at 
<laughs> okay, so so I obviously I didn't want to pick it up with like a bag with my hands. That's not my dog. I'm not going to do that. So this morning after I got back uh, from running errands and dropping everyone off, I got a shovel and kind of just like flung it two feet away. The thing is, is it poured down rain. So it's not like it was hard for it wasn't easy to move. And so I was kind of trying to like flick it so that it ends up over there. And I flicked some a little hard and there's a couple pieces on their porch, not right in front of their door. But I'm like, well, at least they'll notice that I moved it. <laughs> That's scary to me. I meant watching without the music and some of the yes, right. And without without the music definitely helps. I'm thinking convenient place to hang in their front door. I know, right? <laughs> but I definitely again, I'm not one to start fights, but they've done it three times now. Like I said, once I can be like, OK, it was an accident Two, I can excuse away. But a third time. Right? Like, it wasn't even just like off to the side in the grass. No, it was like we have these trees in the front yard, these saplings, and they did it right there on top of the mulch. I'm like, seriously? Like, at least make an effort. Like, it's ridiculous. So, yeah, they um, <laughs> texted Steve. We got back home. Hi, Jill. Got back home. I texted Steve. I was like, so I uh, I gave the neighbors back their, their stuff that they left in the yard. <laughs> We'll see if anything comes from it, but I'm definitely going to put the uh, the camera up so that I can at least if they deny it, I can be like, look, you're on candid camera. Don't do it. I don't know. They generally they keep their dogs fenced in the backyard, but they must let them out in the morning or something or in the evening. And then we wake up and it's like, oh, look, they left us another present that's that's great oh man if a dog one is bad enough d i can't even imagine having to clear up that size <laughs> do you really like thanks for the thoughtful present but uh no thanks so yeah it, it ended up back in their yard i mean if it was like in the front of our yard i would think maybe someone was walking their dog and i couldn't say for sure but it's like literally the yard like we technically share but you can see where their yard ends and ours begins. And it's definitely on our side of the yard. And I'm just like, yeah, we're not going to. I'm I'm not going to let them walk all over me for that one. OK, so I'm doing a little bit of shadow here to help show like reflection, because I'm assuming that this is could be something metallic, but we're making it metallic. Oh, yeah, Lucy. Absolutely. <laughs> Well, I also didn't want to get too close to it. So, yeah, I just grabbed the shovel and just sort of nudged slash flung it back over into theirs. Because um, I'm like, yeah, I'm not stepping in this because it's annoying now. But if I were to step in it in like a pair of shoes that I like, it's going to be even more annoying. <laughs> just start dinging their window. <laughs> oh, my gosh. But that sign is supposed to be here tomorrow. So I'm hoping just the passive aggressive because I'm really I'm very non-confrontational. Uh, I'm using all of Earth. I do not like to be in fights or arguments like it, it like <laughs> stresses me out, man. I don't need that. So I'm just going to be passive aggressive, fling it back into their yard, put up my sign that says, hey, clean up after them. That's all I'm saying. If you're not willing to clean up the poo, don't get the dog. <laughs> We're in bare feet. Oh, my gosh. You know, Shannon, I, I just might. I just might be like, I'll have you come over and knock on their door and be like, look. And actually, I'm extroverted enough that if I had, if I knew for sure it was them, I probably would go over there. But until I have video proof, like on the ring camera, that it is in fact them, like, I don't know. I have a hard time going over there because I know they'll just deny it. Like, if they were nice enough to say, I'm sorry, then they'd probably be nice enough to clean it up in the first place. So clearly it's not something they're interested in. <laughs> See? See? I honestly wouldn't care if they did it in the yard. <laughs> yeah, I'm great with neighbors. I wouldn't mind if they did it. We're going to use Mars Violet. If they just cleaned up after them, right? It's just the leaving it out there. You know, like the first one was kind of on the property line. So again, I was like, okay, not that big of a deal. But this one was just boldly in our tree mulch. And I'm like, really? So yeah, I'm starting to get to the point where it's like, this, this is becoming frequent flyers here, folks. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. They became frequent flyers in our yard. So the deposits have now become frequent flyers back to their yard. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly. And I have no desire to be like the neighbors that you have over for dinner, like at all. 
All I want is for them to leave my yard alone. That's all. That's all I want. Because also, like, I got to mow that lawn. (laughs) Hi, Heather. That's not exactly something I want, you know, the lawnmower to hit. Like, it's just not good. It's only a matter of time before I step on it and just makes it worse. I'm like, yeah, we're not. We're not doing this. Of course, who knows? Maybe if they ever heard me live stream with the window open, if they ever were smart enough to figure out what my channel is, (laughs) then they'd hear me complaining about their uh, yard methods. Oh, nice, Elise. Oh, have you posted a picture of it anywhere? I'm going to add a little bit more red to this one. Definitely a touch more brown than I would have wanted, but okay. Not all of it has to be the exact same color anyway. You know what I think I'm going to do about the water reflection since I'm not really following that? I think um, I'll go back over with the electric eraser and kind of make those lines. Right, Thomas? I know it. Try not to let it get me down, though. Just, yeah, like, all right, we'll just shift it over here. I've I've babysat it for a while. You can have it back now. (laughs) I'm not as worried because it's not like the kids play in the front yard or anything, but still. It's just courtesy. So I'll get a sign, and hopefully they'll get the hint. And then we'll see. Oh, Shannon, I've been meaning to ask. Did that dog that you saw in the neighbor's yard, did they ever end up having puppies? I know we were waiting to see if they were going to have puppies. Ooh, nice, Lisa. Yeah, sometimes if you get a book that doesn't have as nice a paper, uh, you can scan them in and uh, and reprint them. It's part of the reason where if, why, if I'm going to put out a book, like I want it to be on nice paper. So if I can make the books myself, that would be, that'd be great because then I can pick the paper that I want. Oh, it did. Oh, I didn't add a puppy. Okay, well, at least it was only one. All right, so I'm going to use a little bit of chocolate here. But yeah, every time like I think about it, like randomly, I'm like, oh, that dog ever did have puppies what kind of puppies were they hang on just one second just need to clear my throat a little bit patty yes precisely when you mean to how are you patty my street there are only three houses out of 30 that does not have a dog or two so cleaning up is necessary right exactly Oh, fun, Elise. Awesome. I know. Puppies. You like puppies. I mean, I don't have any puppies. I got cats that think they own the place, but, you know. <laughs> Long-haired chihuahua. Okay, those are pretty cute. Those are pretty cute. We will get a dog one day at some point. But we currently can't have any more than the cats that we have already. Because we are, we didn't purchase this place. We, we are renting. So, yeah, limitations there, but. Okay, let's do a little bit of the brown here. Uh, Yeah, I got to see it a little bit. It was kind of cloudy uh, in Texas that day, but I did get to see it. Apparently got really dark in Dallas, which was kind of cool to see because, you know, Dallas is a pretty big city. Somebody had posted a video of it online and yeah, it was pretty cool. Oh, let's do some shadow under these flowers. I don't know what I'm going to do for the flowers yet. But yeah, we're just going to keep working on this page um, until it's all done. But Saturday, like I said, it'll be probably either 10 a.m. my time or 4 p.m. my time uh, for when we stream. But, and I don't know how long we'll go for, however long it takes to uh, put all the pencils away. And I've got my, uh, I got my birthday hat. So it'll be good. Okay. uh, Let's see. Let's do this in green. Let's go with the gray again. Right. Yeah. It did get dark. Yeah. There was some great stuff online. I think like the next one that's supposed to happen in the area that I live in is like, I'm going to be in my sixties. No, no. I'm still streaming on Friday. No, 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 I'm still streaming on Friday. The Saturday is like a, a bonus stream. On the 19th, though, um, there is potentially a thing that I'm going to take the kids to. So um, we may not stream on Friday the 19th. We may end up doing a Saturday stream instead. We're trying to help the kids get a bit more involved just in town in general. Find some, find some other kids that have similar interests to them. 
um, and there's a thing going on in town that Friday. And so I want to take them to that. So um, rather than just starting stream really late, I will probably do it um, on that Saturday instead. So yeah, that will be um, uh, the 19th. So next week's Friday. Got partial. Nice. 99.3 totality. Nice, Ev. Yeah, I'm curious how many of you are really close to, let's see, let's check the store. Top 25. So Callie is at 4,320. Vicky is at 3690. Megan is at 3640. Ev, you're really close. You're at 3310. So many people getting close because there's at least like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight that are all above 3000. Oh, nice, Lucy. Worked in a zone. I forgot. To <laughs> That's fair, Marilyn. Honestly, right after it happened, because the temperature dropped, I took advantage of the, uh, oh, that should have been red. I took advantage of the cooler temperature and went back and did the yard. Oh, okay. So yeah, if you're doing the gamble thing down at the bottom, I can't, oh, it's not even there. But yeah, we don't have the gambling on. We actually tried, we tried, we tested out the gambling thing pretty early on. Um, but I got some messages later that people really, really didn't like the fact that there was a gambling thing on there. So we pulled the gambling. Yes, those were so cool. So there, so there isn't the gambling. And there are some commands down at the end of the loyalty store, but I have those disabled. I just could not remove them from the store. So yeah, mostly the only thing uh, that you can um, access on there is just exclamation point points, and it tells you how many you have. But um, you can do uh, exclamation point um, loyalty and it'll take you to the loyalty store and see what you can purchase with your points. You have to get your square first, but then after that, all the add-ons are only like 1,500. Okay, uh, let's do a little bit of the blue. A little bit of the blue. Kind of helps the green pop just a little bit more. Like I said, it's all muted tones anyway. Oh, I should use the blender on that one too. But I'm thinking, I've been debating about what I want to do for the, oh, hey, Paul, for the theme of the book. And I, I'm still working on the title, but I think I want it to be the something along the lines of like a little bit of everything where it's not just a portrait book. It's not just a floral book. It's not. Seriously? Seriously? But why? Why? Okay, look, you can sit here, but you literally just put your booty right where I was coloring. <laughs> Seriously. I'm just gonna shift, okay? I just, I wanna be able to do the coloring. I can always lighten it, but <laughs> it is Paul, but he really is. He's blocking all the light now. Here, let me bring this around. Okay. <laughs> oh, wait, it's blocking part of it. Call the book, Live Spinach. Oh, I like that. Yeah, because I'm going to do, where are my sticky notes? Move too much stuff around here. I'll just, I'll just put it here. Hang on. There we go. I just need to make Word documents of like while I'm streaming. So, Live menagerie but yeah so i think i want to do um i want to do like a little bit of everything so you know some with animals some with food some with portraits some with buildings some with whatever else so there's like a little <laughs> it's a pole eclipse <laughs> yeah definitely like a bit hodge really now you're just okay okay I can move this slide back turn this <sighs> is it not gonna let me there we go. Maybe close enough. I don't know. Everything's all weird now, Paul. <laughs> bum, bum, bum. There we go. But yeah, so I want to do uh, a little bit of everything because I know like I did a poll and I had people answer and I just got such a variety of answers. Like I'll throw in one mandala in there, you know, do some floral pages. <laughs> I don't forget the rules. I know he, he keeps me in check. Absolutely. 
So I think that could be a good solution to trying to find, um, let's see, we're going to use the smoke blue, a little bit of a happy medium with all of the different things that people like to do. Because I mean, most of the time books are, you know, themes, but my theme will be no theme. <laughs> And that is the other great thing about doing this without a publisher is I can do whatever the heck I want for it. So I don't have to, you know, change based on what they think I should do. And then, yeah, I'm going to get the binding machine at some point. And then I'll probably do a small run of the books just to see how it does, like maybe 10 or 20 of them. And then, you know, go from there. Plan bigger if I need to. But just a little a little test run of them. I think that could be fun because I do know there are some that um, only color in books versus, you know, downloading and printing out the PDFs. So obviously I'll have to figure out all the shipping from, but yeah, that'll be the plan. Yeah, my theme is all the themes. Exactly. Um, oh, nice, Thomas. But yeah, the book will end up being listed in my Etsy store. Like I have a website that I can make a store up on, but I like the traffic that Etsy can bring to my shop. So I haven't like moved over to my website for sales yet. Um, but yeah, for now, whenever it's done, it'll be up in the store. But I mean, I say when it's done, it is it is a ways off. I haven't even begun to map out like what pages I want to do for it. I'm hoping if after this month I can finally get caught up on stuff. And then I can start to make a solid plan. But I'm thinking there'll probably be about 25 images in it total. But I mean, I want this to be like the best work that I've put out. So I don't want to rush it by any means. So I'm going to take my time and uh, see what I can come up with. <clears throat> right? Yeah. I prefer PDFs, but my printer is super mad at me. <laughs> Uh, but, um, yeah, cause that's the other thing is I know people still do PDFs. So Christine Karen, the way she does her books is that she has the books available, but she also puts the pages up in her Etsy store for PDF. So that's what I'm planning on doing. So it won't be strictly just available in the books. It'll be like the books are going to be a secondary option if, uh, if you don't do PDFs, cause then I'll be able to print it out on good paper. I'm probably going to print it on Nina paper and then go from there. Oh, nice, Thomas. Britt, welcome back. Okay, we're going to use a little bit of this, let's see, ivory black. I know we haven't done a ton of blue here, but we're going to get a lot more blue uh, with the water. <laughs> uh, no, that one will not be in there. Uh, these are going to be all new drawings, all new drawings. Absolutely, and no. Not to mention, my style has changed a little bit since I made that one. I'd like to think I'm getting better. I'm almost done with the mermaid image. I I'm kind of hoped to get out two images for mermaid, but uh, I don't know if I'm gonna get it done in time. I'll give it a shot, but <laughs> I say but uh, <laughs> but no, that one that one will not make it. Yes, exactly, a complete mix. On prints, it's very stripy pink, right? I know. I I uh. I have a, um, oh, I went over the line. Oh, well, we'll just continue it. Um, I have the uh, monthly subscription to Printer Ink because I use my printer so much. Oh, and over the line, we're wrong. Oh, well, that's going to get red anyway, so. What are you me mad about, sir? He's over there being chatty. A little bit of red on here. Ev sigh. Oh, <laughs> I'm not putting it in there, Ev. Never going to live that page down. Welcome back. Please do not come and sit on my page. I'm just going to start with that. You can come, but do not sit on the section that I'm working on. That is all I ask. Okay. Here he comes. We got another Pollux. Oh, he's doing so good. He, he's parked himself over in the corner. Ah, uh, thanks. Um, so I have an older one. It's a Canon TS 8120 and I do like it, but that particular printer is not available anymore. I do want to get a new one eventually that um, prints a little bit better, especially for like the stickers and everything, but that's down the line. I really can't complain about this printer at all because um, a few years ago, Canon actually sent it to me. It wasn't like a collaborative thing. 
at all. It was, I guess, considered a prize. I think I've told some of you about it before. But when Johanna had her collaboration with Canon and um, she was releasing those seasonal pages and you use the hashtag like color with Canon, um, I was doing like every single one of those and getting them out. And then at the end of the campaign, um, Canon messaged me and they're like, hey, we want to send you a thing. And I was like, OK. And it was a printer. And I was like, what? This was like really early days. Like I hadn't worked with any companies or anything. So having a company send me something like blew my mind. But it wasn't like they wanted a review of it or anything. They just sent it. Oh, no. Waterproof, so I don't want to change brands. Mm, yeah, I need that too. That's the other thing is I need to get like either waterproof ink or like a laser printer or something. Got a phone call from a friend in Mississippi. The storm there is so bad right now. They closed the school. Storm is heading east and north. Oh, my gosh. That must have been what passed through here. Yes. Sir. Sir, I gave you the rules. You got up here and I said, that's fine. But as long as you don't color or cover what I'm working on. I would say this is the equivalent of covering what I'm wearing. He's not even paying attention to me. He does not care. <sighs> well, I was only going to use the blender. And it is 1158. <laughs> I see no stinking rules. Do you guys want to play some words? Let's do some words. Because all I was going to do left was use the blender. He pretty much runs the roost here. Yeah. Oh, look at those scratches. Oh, that's not your food. <laughs> that's not your food. Oh, no. Uh, well, hey, Annie. Hey, Annie. Hey, Annie. We have automatic feeders. <laughs> he just bolted. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's fast. <laughs> it wasn't his. <laughs> uh, hi, Magic. <laughs> Just like zoom. Oh, my gosh. Okay, well, real quick, I'll finish. I'll finish this part here. <laughs> Goober of a cat. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Well, we'll definitely pick up where we left off at. <laughs> we'll definitely pick up where we left off last time. Because clearly, I mean, in comparison to the ducks, you can see. See, actually, that gives you a bit idea because this is more accurate to what the duck is. So here, let's, let's move this over here. There you go. That's a bit more accurate to the, uh, the color of it. But <laughs> it's going to get much darker, but I think it'll be really pretty, especially if we do like kind of light pink for the flowers. I think that'll be really nice. Okay, so let's go ahead and pull up words on stream. Yeah, he bolted, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. When we do words, it adds up too. I mean, so every, every 10 minutes you get 30 points. So yeah, because you're chatting in that. So yeah, you definitely get points at the end. Like, let's see, who is, there was somebody, let me refresh real quick. So there was someone that was really close to the 3,500. Yeah, Ev's pretty close. <laughs> Saving my work now, I'm ready. Oh, fun, Josephine. All right, we're gonna load up words here. If you are new, words is just a fun game we play at the end. Scores like, oh wait, no, don't start yet. Don't start yet, that was a mistake. Okay. I haven't even put the link in, in OBS yet. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, here we go. Going for the embroidery square, nice. I know it'll look so cool when we have so many different ones. Like I'm trying to do like different vinyl or different font or whatever for all of them. So we get a variety of what they look like. I think it'll be neat. Sounds good, Kara. Thank you so much for being here. There we go. There we go. All right. So bye, Maylin. All right. Are we ready? Let's go ahead and pause. Oh, the music was already paused. Okay. I always forget to hit, hit repeat on the song list. Okay. Move this over here. 
little bag up here. Okay, there we go. I drink water and then I'll join in. Oh, wait, in incense. Would incense be one? Mm. No, I think that needs more S's. Okay. Uh, oh, nieces, there we go. So the other two ends. No, let's see. What about um, nices? Is <laughs> nice is a word? Uh, scene, yes. Uh, science, scenic. There we go. Um, let's see. What about? I always put this one in, but I don't think it is. Oh no, it is. Okay. Uh, oh, what about um? No, signs wouldn't be it because it's gonna come after S. So this last word is gonna start with S. <clears throat> Scene. Um, what about? S I E N E? That one? Or S E I N E? Ah, there it is. That's close. Well done, Natalie. All right, skip three levels. Ooh, Natalie number one, followed by Lucy. Uh, oh, oh, oh. Uh, is it bi bi biceps? Is that it? <laughs> biceps. So we could do singular of bicep. <clears throat> Pies, epics, spice. Why bicep isn't singular? Um, what about? So we got pies, spec, <clears throat> epic. There we go. And then the last one's gonna start with. There it is, picks. Cleared the bore. Well done. All right, Natalie, Lucy, and Durbin. Ooh, Patty followed close behind. <clears throat> oh, we should all get this one. Gosh, why is it whenever we do words, like my throat gets all weird. Eraser, uh, singular erase. So it's a fake T. Hang on one second. Okay, clear my throat a little bit. See if that helps. Uh, let's see. Where is my mouse back? Put this back up. Here we go. Okay, we got seer. Um, seer, seer. Oh, ours. That's good. Um, let's see. Did we get... Okay, fake T. Uh, oh, what about, uh, rare? <laughs> Gotta do rears. Plural of rear. There we go. <laughs> uh, okay. Rares, yep. Yeah. Uh, do we do, we did eras, okay. Um, oh, uh, errs, E-R-R-S. Air on the side of caution, rude, that's totally a word. Serer, okay. Uh, what's that last one then? Air should have totally been it, E-R-R-S, right? Unless I was, no, all right, so what about E-R-E-S? Could start with, start with an A, too. A-R-R-S? <laughs> that was, uh, isn't that one English slang, though? Unless that's another word for that? Just saying. Maybe it's short for arson. <laughs> East, okay, um... Uh, fast. Okay, so that means it's a fake P. Uh, so what about fates? There we go. Fates, feast. Okay. <clears throat> oh, uh, safe. Safe is a word. So, wait, what is it? It's a fake. Yeah, fake P. Oh, feats. There you go. <laughs> Teefs. <laughs> um, okay. Feast, feats, fates. Fetas. Oh, I like feta cheese. F T A. Singular. <clears throat> feta. Eights, yeah. Uh, let's see. East eats fast. <clears throat> I'm sorry. Like, all of a sudden, I'm Clear my throat. Uh, feet, yep, and ETAs. Perfect. <clears throat> All right, ooh, Ev, followed by Natalie. Well done. 
Oh, that's a lot. Triple O's. Double C. So we need to clear the T, the U, and the A. So... Hacko! Okay, so it's a fake U. It's a fake... It's a fake U. So... Oh, but I really want to do coconut, but that's not... Yeah, everybody's doing coconut. Yep. What is it? Cockatoo? Oh my gosh. Okay, so fake U, hidden K. It's a rooster, it's a rooster, it's a rooster. Okay, thank goodness it didn't go in there. Okay, uh, what about talk? As in... No, oh, that's not right. Okay, uh, what about tack? Oh, yep, Linda got tack. Coat and cocoa. Um, what about... Yeah, that's a good one on the cockatoo. Well done. Okay, so it's gonna start with this and it's done. Cleared the board. Dude, we are doing awesome right now. Like, amazing. All right, so we got Linda Durbin Elise and Natalie Durbin me. <laughs> awesome. Okay, I'm just gonna try it. I'm just gonna try this. Just throwing it out there. Okay, what about spout? Spout, okay, spout is good. Uh, nothing smaller than five letters, so they're all five letters or more. Pouts. So I think I think the D is going to be fake because it's not usually the double letters. So spout, stoop. Uh, what if it's another O? What about S T O O P? Um, what about uh, out, out, outputs? Outputs? Oh, it is! Okay, so it is out. What's, oh, it's a hidden T. Okay, so fake D, hidden T. Double T. So, uh, what about put out? Is put out? Yeah, there we go. Okay, so put outs. Put, yeah, there it is. There it is. Awesome. Oh, touts, that's good. Um, pouts, stout. Um, what about oust, but that's only four letters. Putts, oh, that's good. Um, so you got stout. It's gonna be, start with the letter P. Um, two twos, I like it. Um, what about P-O-T-T-S, is that a word? Um... <laughs> Just throwing it out there. Um, gosh, what is that? I'm not sure what that last one is, but we'll still... Oh, POTUS! That could work. Alright, well, we'll still, we'll still get uh, skip three levels, so we're good there. Alright, skip three levels. Level 19. Ooh, Natalie, number one in both. Well done. Okay, so the R should be fine. The A should be fine. We need to clear the T, N, D, N, W. So, um, again, nothing smaller than five letters. Um, gosh, I feel like Rwanda. That's what I'm seeing. Oh, Megan. Oh, and they're hidden at warrant. Okay, so that means it's a fake D. Oh, what about just warrants? Maybe it's an S? Okay, it's not an S. Um, so it's a fake D, uh, fake D, mm. what is that? Oh, Natalie got errant, nice, um, hmm, fake D. Oh, did, we tried water, right? <clears throat> okay, not water. Oh no! Well, just make sure that your slider is all caught up. Oh, ranted, yeah. Um. Wha mm, what is this? Well, as soon as that last lock, we'll see it. We'll see the other one. Um, oh, what about warranty? Is it a Y? 
Yes, it's a Y. Fake D, hidden Y. Fake D, hidden Y. Okay, so, um, 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 Wary? No, that's not right. Um, we get Array? Array? Um, oh no. Oh no, one more. One more. Uh, drawn. Drawn! Oh no. <laughs> Are we gonna get it? Oh, we didn't get that D fast enough. Oh my gosh, that was so close. So close, but we did so good. All right, let's let's close the words. Here we go. Turn that down. That was tough. It's hard when you can't see the words and then you don't get to see um uh the answers were hidden. But that was good. That was real good. All right. <laughs> so I can't so uh, that's about it for today. We're going to be live again on Friday where we'll work on this page. And then uh, we'll either be live uh, Saturday morning or Saturday afternoon, my time. So just, you know, make sure you subscribe, put the notification bell on. And um, yeah, we'll hang out for my birthday. We'll put away pencils. It'll be great. We'll have all kinds of shenanigans. And by shenanigans, I mean pencil putting away. It's, it's, it's going to be so exciting. <laughs> oh man. All right, everyone. Thank you for being here. Uh, thank you for those two uh, super chats, Kara and Elise. I appreciate you so much. Um, have a great West year. West. What's the woo week? Um, can't give my points to Ev. We can't transfer points. Just got to wait. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, everyone. Have a wonderful rest of your week. I'll see you Friday night. And um, yeah, still uh, th thanks. Thanks for being awesome. All right, everyone. Talk to you later. Bye.